fourth is going down for the Protoss player in order to try to keep up an economy, especially as his main starts to get mined out. This Zerg ball starts to move forward uh, and is going to engage uh, in the middle of these Blink Stalkers. I really don't like this engagement for this Zerg player. This Archon uh, is doing a ton of damage, but he is getting focused down wisely by the Zerg player. Archon hanging back is going to just be absolutely ripping up these Zerglings. Now it's left to Mutas uh, versus Blink Stalkers and Archons. These Mutalists are going to lose sorely. You can see a bunch of the Mutalist health all drain all at the same time. In terms of supply, the Protoss player is a little bit ahead. Zerg player is cranking out 34 Zerglings and a whole bunch more Mutalists and a couple Infestors. So Zerg really needs to do some good work in order to hold this off right now. These uh, Archons are just butting up against the, the Stalkers in front of them, not really getting a whole lot done. But if you take a look at these Archon kills, they're just going to soar upwards as you keep flooding Zerglings toward them. They kill them so easily. Sentry gets caught out of position, taken out, but the Mutalists start to press forward. Mutalists are clumping up really badly. If he was focused on these Archons, you get so many Mutalists down, and you can see how many go down at a time. These Blink Stalkers are just going to really clean up the remainder of these Mutalists, and the supply differences are going to show how far ahead the Protoss player is right now by about 70 supply, and he's going to work on this natural. The Infestors come out, but you're a little late there, guys. You're not going to do a whole lot by just holding this army in place for just a second. 12 more Zerglings come down, but this game is basically over. Protoss player with that unit composition just absolutely dominated those Mutalisks. Uh, with good focus firing work on those Templars, those Mutalisks are so frail against the Protoss army. Uh, Protoss might be getting a little bit worried, maybe trying to buy some time to regenerate some shields on these Stalkers before he pushes back in, but here we go. Zerg player may have an okay answer in order to try to get back into this, and that is Ultralisks. His chitinous planing is not even close to being done. There are six now seven Ultralists coming, uh, which will do pretty well against these Blink Stalkers, but the Blink Stalkers are plus three, uh, so I, I'm not sure if it's really enough. If he had those Ultralists earlier, maybe to supplement the Zerglings or Mutalisks, it would have been a lot different story, since Archons versus uh, Ultralists is actually a little bit of a fair matchup in the sense that it favors the Zerg player by just a little bit. All these Zerg, or rather, all these drones are going to evacuate. Nice Blink in order to get in the middle of them, but he's not going to pick off a ton. Uh, they do, some of them do inadvertently blink down to this bottom area in order to try to kill off the spine crawler and also get some kills on these uh, drones. Here come the Ultralish just stamping their way in. They're going to really go to work on these blink stalkers, but the blink stalkers can blink back, buying them enough time and dealing enough damage to these Ultralish. Ultralish are just completely ripping through these blink stalkers, as we can see here. They just all fall in groups, and these Ultralish didn't take very many losses, so really good investment there and it may be a nice avenue to get them back in the game. Uh, these drones are just running around with their Ultralist buddies, hoping that they don't get caught out of position. Blink Stalkers still going to work on this expansion. Ultralists are going to come down, but the Blink Stalkers, if they had vision, could get up here, but they do not have vision, so they're essentially going to get stranded. Uh, but you have to wonder if enough damage was done to the mining of this Zerg player, uh, if, uh, if that push was effective enough, and if the Zerg is still just not going to be able to get back in this, because it's, he lost his fourth hatchery, his third... Uh, is essentially the only one mining, even though all of his drones are basically gone. I mean, I, I can't even find them anymore. They must have all been killed, or they're all rallied to the gas. That's a huge mistake. Uh, Ultralist pushing back in here, but a lot of them are in the red. Uh, these Ultralists should fall fairly easily to this composition. Immortal's in here. He's going to have a lot of fun shooting at the exact kind of targets that he wants. Ultra er, Archon versus Ultralist is taking place here. The Archon can tank quite a bit of damage, but these Ultralists attacking while they're all in the red slash amber will just drop really quickly and we can see the Zerg player did leave the game. So a uh, couple of issues of mismanagement there. Uh, if you're Zerg, you really need to be scouting your opponent frequently with those overseers and you can scout in more than one place at a time by dropping in uh, changelings. You'd be surprised the kind of information you can get off of with changelings. So if you were to drop a changeling like right here and run up the ramp, they're, they're going to kill the changeling, of course, but you might get to see their army composition, which is basically all you need to see. And if you see an army composition of Stalker, Archon, and you are running Mutalisk, Zergling, uh, you, you might as well just run straight into a brick wall going 100 miles an hour because you're not going to do a lot of damage to that brick wall. And meantime, it's going to just splatter you all over the place, uh, considering Archons just love to fight Mutalisks and love to fight Zerglings as they all clump up into this area and the Archon just splashes all over them with this plus three upgrade. That's just so devastating. 
Um, but we can see that uh, Archons are being more favored in Zerg and Terran and Protoss matchups, so the buff is definitely going a long way in order to encourage people to use more and more Archons. Um, so, yes, we can see the ever-so-shifting metagame between Protoss and Zerg. Um, a lot of it's revolving around that Roach timing attack that happens around uh, anywhere from about 7 to 10 minutes. And it can be all in, it can be just pressure, and Protoss can have a hard time dealing with it. But if they don't, uh, they can go for those Mutalisks and they can do a lot of damage if the Protoss player isn't prepared for it. But it's really frail because once they get their Tier 3 tech out in the form of Archons or Storms, uh, as you can see he was saving up here on these Hard Templar, then that's just not going to be very effective. So, hope you guys enjoyed that game. Uh, if you have any comments or anything, leave them down below. Uh, I will address them if I feel the need to address them, if they are cool enough. And uh, if, if there's nothing else, we will go ahead and end this game and end this broadcast. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.